Hi, welcome to the video where I'm going to be talking to you about what software tools are really important for beginner business analysts to master. I often get this question and I know that there's quite a lot of confusion out there, especially these days with all the software that's available to us. So let's demystify that by quickly running through the most important software tools that you need to learn as a new business analyst. There are essentially four different types of software tools that you need to understand and then choose a few of those to get proficient in. So the first is productivity software tools that we'll look at examples of what that is. Then we'll also look at some popular modeling software tools that you need to learn. We'll look at collaboration and communication software tools, which is absolutely essential these days not just for business analysts, but for anybody who works remotely and works within a modern office. And then specialist software tools, specifically with an eye on data. So let's have a look at what those might look like. But before we do that, I would love to know what you think before watching this video, what a business analyst should know in terms of software tools. So here I'm asking, a business analyst must know a, SQL and Python, B, Tableau and, and Microsoft Power BI, C, Microsoft Excel, or D, it depends on the role. Please comment below and let me know your thoughts. And if there's any other software tools that you think a business analyst might need to know. Okay, so now let's start with productivity tools. What are these? So this is actually not specific to business analysts, although the way that we use it might be slightly unique. So the first very important and very basic productivity tool is word processing. So just make sure that you are proficient with one of these tools, either Microsoft Word, which is the most popular in a corporate environment, uh, Google Docs and Pages. And all of those, as you would probably know, has got very similar functionality. So just know, know your way around those tools. Presentation software is actually really important for a business analyst as well, because we tend to present either some of our analysis findings, we often summarize business requirements back to a group, or we use it as a way to communicate and validate requirements. So make sure that you can use Microsoft PowerPoint or you can use Google Slides, or you can use Keynote. But, and you can even try an artificial intelligence tool called Gamma, which is a really um, nice tool that can create really fancy presentation packs for you. So have a look at those tools. At a very basic level, I would say Microsoft PowerPoint is still probably the most widely used. And you definitely need to know how to do that fairly well. Spreadsheets. Now, everybody always asks, oh, do I have to be really good at Microsoft Excel? Well, you do need to be able to find your way around Microsoft Excel. But believe it or not, business analysis is not all about spreadsheets in all cases. So it's a very handy software tool to be able to use, just like Microsoft Word would be. But you don't necessarily have to be an absolute guru using Microsoft Excel. And then document repositories. So what I'm here uh, referring to is there's lots of documents that we create, as you can see, Microsoft Word, presentations, spreadsheets, and we need to be able to use software that's often implemented in large organizations like SharePoint, for example, or some kind of wiki tool like Confluence is another example. So see if you can get some exposure to one of those tools it's really good to know how to use them. It's not very difficult to learn. It's not an absolute mandatory requirement, but it would be good if you can put on your resume that you've got some exposure to either one of those tools or you at least understand how they work theoretically. Still important for you to know. So here is just some of the logos to give you an idea of what these tools look like when you start Googling for them. Um, a lot of these tools you might be able to get some free licenses for online. Always search for similar tools in case you can't get a free license of something like a Microsoft Word. Go and work with Google Docs. That's free. 
So it's really important for you though to know how to use at least one of each of these. So here I'm saying just in summary, as a business analyst, you should be proficient in at least one of each type of tool mentioned. So that's the productivity tools. Now let's quickly jump into the modeling tools. These are the really important ones for us as business analysts. So there's two types here. Firstly, diagramming. This is when we start drawing diagrams like process diagrams, um, data flow diagrams, all these different types, object class diagrams, sequence diagrams, use case diagrams. There are so many different diagrams that a business analyst need to be able to draw. And these are the four tools that are very popular, but by no means are they the only ones. Microsoft Visio, again, is probably the most popular Visio tool, um, diagramming tool, excuse me, across cor big corporations. However, there are other tools like Draw.io, I personally use quite a lot. It's a very easy to use online and completely free tool to be able to do pretty much any diagram with correct notational elements. So definitely highly recommend that tool if you don't have access to one of the others. And then, of course, micrographics and lucid charts are two other examples. But please Google, find some specific diagramming software and make sure that you can use them and draw some good diagrams using the correct notation before you jump into a role. And then the other type of modeling tool that you may get some exposure to or you may already be using is Miro.com or Mural.com. They are very, very good in doing almost any visual diagram. So you can also draw more traditional diagrams like process diagrams and data flow diagrams and so forth using those tools. That is also fine. Um, however, they definitely have more of a collaboration aspect. It's more about whiteboarding almost. So they've got post-it notes, they've got lots of color, lots of different applications and apps that you can search and use and you can share your boards. Very, very, very strong collaboration. So make sure that you can at least use one of them really well and that you also understand how to collaborate. So do some practice with some of your um, colleagues to learn how to do Miro in a group format or Mural. Another tool that I haven't personally used, but Microsoft also has a tool called Whiteboard that's also definitely used across the board. So again, there are many different tools similar to these three that I'm mentioning here. Um, so please make sure that you go and Google it and see if you can maybe just really get your hands dirty and make sure you know how to use those. There's just a few images to show you what they look like. So in a nutshell, I'm also saying when it comes to modeling tools, as a business analyst, you should be proficient in at least one of each of the types of tools that I'm mentioning here. Okay, and then the third type, collaboration and communication tools. Now, like I mentioned before, we all work, a lot of us work in a hybrid model where you might go to the office for a bit and a lot of your work is done remotely. So there are a couple of types of tools that you need to also learn. And a lot of the other project team members, not just business analysts, need to know how to use these tools. However, business analysts really need to know how to use these tools because you often drive a lot of the correct processes and best practices, especially when it comes to some of the agile um, practices that goes with some of these tools. So if we look at workflow and product delivery type tools, it would be good if you get some exposure to Microsoft Project. Whilst as a business analyst, you don't necessarily have to create Gantt charts or anything like that. It's just a good, a good tool to have some familiarity with. But if you don't have access to that tool, don't be too worried about that. That's not such a big deal. Then I would maybe look at if you can get an example of how JIRA works, because that's very popular these days for managing agile project workflow in Kanban boards or Scrum boards. Um, we as business analysts use JIRA or Trello is another example, which you can get a free um, online version for which you use to do your user stories and do your user story elaboration. So 
do make sure that you have some idea of how these workflow tools work. There are others as well, of course. Um, they are very popular. I think potentially monday.com might be another example. So just make sure that you know at least one of these. Get familiar with how they work and understand the basic usage. You don't have to be a super expert, but don't be completely unclear or just be able to at least have a conversation in an interview as to what they are used for and more or less how they work. And then, of course, communication. Zoom and Microsoft Teams are the two most popular communication tools for remote working. So this is quite easy for you to play around with. Just at least use one of these so that you can say in an interview, hey, I, I do know how to use these tools because you will use them quite a lot when you start working as a business analyst. And then, of course, these other communication and chat type group based uh, collaboration platforms that all have a bit of something specific in them. And one of those popular ones is called Slack. Go Google for similar tools like Slack. If you um, already know Slack, then maybe expand your horizons or WhatsApp. And of course, email is very fundamental in everyday life, but also for a business analyst. So have a look at what are those popular communication tools that you need to know when you go before you go into a corporate role. So just again, some logos and images of what to expect when you see these tools. Um, and in summary, again, you should be at least proficient in at least one of each of these types of tools. So for workflow and delivery, maybe try and be proficient in Jira or in Trello. Um, and for communication, try and be proficient in Zoom or in Microsoft Teams at, a very, at the very least. Now for the last one, the specialist tools. And this is probably the one that I get most questions about. This is specifically looking at data. And you should remember that we are talking about business anal analysis, not data analysis. So a lot of people ask, should I learn how to program and do coding with R or with Python or with even SQL or some others um, to be able to interrogate data and create results? And then we also have same questions around data visualization tools. Should I, as a very basic requirement, be good with Power BI or Tableau? Let's talk about this one first, the data analysis of coding. You don't have to be able to code to be a successful business analyst. Remember that and don't let anybody tell you otherwise, because that is about more technical coding system specialist analysts or data analysts that will study to be able to do one of these coding languages as well. Business analysts do not need to be able to code. Now, before we go, we will go back to that in a moment because there's always exceptions. But let's just quickly talk about data visualization tools. Now here, some people would say that Microsoft Power BI is becoming almost mandatory for business analysts. Now, this is not quite true because it's, again, very much focused on data analysis and not business analysis. If you want to get into business analytics or into data analytics, then I would say definitely make sure you know how to use Power BI and teach yourself or get exposure on projects to be able to use Microsoft Power BI. Do not um, misunderstand me. However, if you're a business analyst that does not specifically work on a data-focused project where these skills are required, you can still be very successful without having Microsoft BI or Tableau on your resume. But there are always exceptions. So my question firstly to you would be, now based on what I've said, as a business analyst, do you have to be an expert in these tools? So my answer is no, you don't have to be an expert. My question now for you is as a business analyst, are these useful skills and tools to learn? And my answer is yes. 
The future is around data and most projects these days are focused around data. So if you as a business analyst want to also develop some of your data analysis skills and therefore capabilities, I will recommend, yes, go look at some of these tools. Maybe start with Microsoft Power BI and Tableau if you can get access to that as a starting point, because that's a really good way to start from the visualization side. And then if you are a bit more technical inclined and you like to go down to the low level of detail and you want to learn how to manipulate data, then I would say look at one of these other languages and go learn more about them, understand properly what they're used for, and then choose which one to study. But please remember, as a business analyst, and especially a business business analyst that's focused around business problems, not so much around technical details and technical data elements, does not need to know these particular tools. So keep that in mind when you start planning your education around software. So here, just to summarize, like I've just said, you do not need to be proficient in these tools, but they are nice to have. So in summary, definitely important for you to learn your productivity tools, modeling tools, collaboration and communication tools. They are absolutely essential. But specialist data and coding tools are only nice to have. And you don't have to be an expert in those in order to be successful as a business analyst. If you're interested in them, don't hold back and go and study them. I hope you've enjoyed that summary of all the different tools and software tools and that you understand what the different types of tools are that's out there that we as business analysts need to master. So there are a lot of information in the market. I would love to learn about more software tools that I may not have mentioned that could be really useful for business analysts. So please share them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or like the video. And I really look forward to sharing more knowledge and skills and tips with you. Talk to you soon.